welcome back to another vlog i am weekly vlogging this week it is monday morning well late morning early afternoon <laughs> um and i'm just like trying to get back into the swing of things kind of have a busy week or so ahead and i leave for a really big trip mid next week so i'm just trying to like get all of my work stuff taken care of personal stuff you know like the whole like I don't know, I feel like girls have like an entire beauty routine they run through before trips, or at least I do, and it's like nails, brows, like, you know, skin, all the things. So I have a lot of work to get done this week and then a lot of appointments. Thought it would be fun to take you guys along, but as I said, it's just like Monday and I'm trying to get back into the swing of things because I kind of like took the last few days off a bit, more off than I usually do over the weekend, and just kind of like hung out with friends that were in town and let loose and didn't think about work which is really good to do every once in a while um so i'm trying to get back into the swing of things i just started getting ready for the day and kind of like touched up my hair a bit and i'm about to film a skincare reel right now for instagram um and then i have like a couple photos i need to go shoot today so i'm gonna do that later in the afternoon i like the lighting better in the afternoon um and yeah i just need to like order some clothes and stuff um I'm going to Europe next week, I guess I can tell you guys. I was like trying to keep it a little bit of a surprise, but by the time this vlog goes live, it'll either be right before I leave or as I'm in Europe, so it doesn't need to be a secret anymore. So yeah, I'm going to Europe next week. I am super excited. Um, one of my managers is getting married in Italy, so I'm going to Italy, I'm going to Barcelona. Um, I haven't quite finished planning the rest of the trip yet, but I think that we are going to go to Mallorca afterwards as well. I'm going with a friend. Um, so I'm super excited for that, but I need to like, I still need to order a dress for the wedding because it's black tie. I need to just like finish planning Europe outfits because obviously they have to be fabulous. So yeah, just like a lot going on, but it's all good things. So I figured I would just take you guys along for the week and give you another week in my life. So I will check in with you guys in a bit. Hopefully I've made some progress on this reel. Okay. Reel is complete. I'm sitting in my little sunspot on the stairs that I like to film any sort of like makeup or skincare thing in because the natural light is just like untouchable. You can't even beat it. It's so good. Um, I feel like I look like purple on the screen right now. So um, I just ordered myself a sweet green salad. I'm still finishing my smoothie that I got earlier this morning, but I ordered myself a sweet green salad. Um, I'm just trying to like actually share with you guys when I'm vlogging like what I'm eating I'm also doing like a separate whole separate what I eat in a day video dedicated to that because I know you guys have been asking but I do just want to like try to incorporate more of what I'm eating so that I can like give you guys realistic meals and insights um, But yeah now that the skincare reel is finished I'm gonna go put on my makeup and then try to go out and shoot like two outfits this afternoon honestly if I could get three done that would be chef's kiss so wish me luck um gonna go do that and then when i get home tonight i honestly need to just like sit down on the couch and focus on like figuring out um anything else that i need to like buy and order for um for europe because it's a week from tomorrow that i leave and i'm like cutting it really close on shipping time also i literally came on here earlier and told you guys that I was like having a Monday, like getting my shit together. And it's Tuesday, which just quite literally proves that I do not have my shit together. I don't even know what date it is. So it's Tuesday. Yesterday I took a mental health day and I went to Disney with a couple of my friends that were in town. Um, and I was gonna vlog it, but then I was just like, you know what? It's 90 degrees out. We're running around, we're sweating. I'm not gonna try to like add a little vlog into that mix. So. I did not vlog it, but I do have a lot of funny like footage of my iPhone, so maybe I'll incorporate a little bit of that. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay. I was shit at vlogging after after I filmed my reel pretty much, after I ate lunch. Um went out and got two looks done but like i was in a really bad mood lately like when i get my period the last few months it's been super bad and i get really bad pms and i'm like 
extremely grumpy and just like very emotional and like my moods change very quickly anyway and i just got my period yesterday so i was just like super grumpy and shooting looks when you're grumpy is like or like i don't know doing any part of this job when you're grumpy and you have to like show up and talk on camera or like shoot outfits or whatever it is it's very difficult if you're not in the right mindset so i shot two looks that i like don't really love but since it's a busy week it's just gonna have to do a lot of times i'm a perfectionist and i'll like reshoot things but like it just it just needs to get done so it is what it is um and then picked up some takeout for dinner and now i'm about to wash my face off and i just need to like clean up a bit i just feel like my house has been a mess for like for weeks it feels like and I just need to like clean up and do some laundry and then I think I'm just gonna get in the bed get in the bed get into bed early and oh yeah I need to send all those emails that I told you guys about earlier for the clothes so get in bed early and then not actually go to bed anyway I'm gonna go because <laughs> I am in a very sassy mood and I will probably just be signing off for the night and talk to you guys in the morning Okay, just kidding. I'm gonna wash my face with you guys. This cleansing balm, so good. The thing is, I also owe you guys like a legitimate full skincare routine, but I have not filmed that yet. And since it's another highly requested video, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna incorporate little tidbits of skincare into this vlog. So I'm removing my makeup with this cleansing balm from Elemis. I love removing my makeup with a cleansing balm because it just like it feels so luxurious and it leaves your face super hydrated and it doesn't like strip it. I'm dying that I literally was like, okay, I'm going, I'm signing off. And then I felt guilty for being bad at vlogging. So now here I am washing my face with you guys. Ugh, I was gonna be lazy and not double cleanse, but excuse me. Then I was just like, I don't want to be like breaking out because I already had my period. So we're double cleansing, even though I'm lazy. I'm using the Summer Fridays, um, <laughs> the Summer Fridays face wash, the Super Amino Gel Cleanser. out my contacts is literally my favorite part of the day i have worn contacts for like so many years okay that was way too difficult and i'm gonna make sure that's cut out because i feel like it's really creepy to see someone stick their finger in their eyeball but basically hold on i need to take the other one out okay basically i literally cannot see anything anymore but i've been wearing contacts for i don't even know how long like honestly since i was like 12 or 13 or 14 like somewhere around there and I'm now 30 so it's been a really freaking long time and I think my eyes are just over it like my contacts hurt they get dry like my eyes are just not happy with me so I really 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 want to get LASIK um like very soon but I just haven't like gone to the doctor and looked into it so probably when I get back from Europe that's gonna be like top priority um, now I am putting retinol all over my face because it's the best anti-aging skincare hack ever. Um, I don't use this every night though. I like just see how my skin is responding and I do like, I would say every three, sometimes even every four days, like if my skin gets dry because it's super drying, then I'll ease up on it or like if I'm in the sun a lot because it can cause your skin to be super sensitive and like you can get sunburn and sun damage, which you don't want. So I don't use it every single day, 
but it's truly the best anti-aging skincare ever. So if you don't use a retinol product, it's a must. Okay. And then I'm just gonna follow that up with a moisturizer. I'm using the First Aid Beauty Collagen Cream. I love this one because the texture is like whipped and just like really nice. And I also, okay, you guys, if you don't eat, I feel like I just, I was like, I'm in a bad mood and now I'm talking about skincare and everything's fine. If you don't use one of these little spatula things for your skincare, you are missing out. First of all, like less bacteria because you're not putting your finger in there. Second of all, second of all, if you have long nails, it's like so gross to get product in there. Um, and third of all, it just makes me feel bougie like I'm at the spa, so I love these. And I also love to mix my self tanning drops And with my moisturizer. I promise when I do a legit skincare routine, it will be much better than this and I'll be in a good mood and the camera will be at a better angle. And I will go way more in depth into what these products are and why, but can't spoil the actual thing, right? Okay, and then I'm doing like a quick version tonight just because I want to get into bed. I'm going to go in with the Feelist CBD face oil. A couple drops of that and getting in bed to buy some clothes for Europe and answer some emails. Mm. I love a face oil. Okay, one more thing. This burst lip conditioning oil. Can you see that? Hello. There we go. This stuff is the shit. Me trying to look cute while I apply this and Wow, that was a fail. But like, it feels so good on the lips. Okay, I'm getting in bed now. I'm actually signing off. I will actually talk to you guys in the morning. I love you, good night. We love it, you seven hours. Good morning. We, I'm with Alyssa and Jordan here. Good morning. I have my gals for moral support. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to get lip filler for the first time ever and I thought I would take you guys along because I've always said like if I did any sort of filler that I would be transparent about it. So you're the first bad to know. influence. You're the first to know. Alyssa <laughs> is bringing me along because she has a good, um, a good place girl. here that she goes to. So we're going to get some Botox and lip filler today. So sorry, Here's a little before. My pants. So perfect. Pee my pants. Gonna be. Squeezing them balls. How you doing? There we go. Mm hmm And Juicy. Juicy. They are. Oh, they're bleeding a little. I saw it here first. She did it. Okay, we are back in LA. We just drove straight back after the appointment because Alyssa had to take her dog out and go to an appointment. 
Um, and then Jordan and I just grabbed some juice from, juice, I'm a little mum still, juice from Creation. And I honestly think I'm gonna grab another sweet green salad because I'm starving, I haven't eaten anything today. Um, and I'm obviously still swollen, as you can see. I'm, I'm blind, I can't squint. <laughs> I really can't squint. Yeah, I'm like super nervous because they're swollen, but I know that it'll go down and they'll look normal, so. They look amazing. Yeah, I will obviously show you guys how they turn out when they're not swollen, but it's less swelling, less swelling than my lip blushing. If you guys watch my lip blushing vlog, then you know the tea on that. Oh, that's Chipotle, not sweet green. Pass it out for Chipotle. Mmm. So terrible I completely forgot to vlog like the entire second half of the day but basically to catch you guys up a bit I feel like I look ridiculous because my lips are so swollen um I came home from sweet green lunch and I finished editing that reel that I filmed yesterday I edited and posted my photo because I hadn't posted anything today since I was driving back and forth to Orange County this morning and then I filmed some stories for some new like fall pieces that I got in from a couple brands and showered just like started hi hazy cleaning up a little bit because I still haven't like I just feel like my whole office my office is a disaster and like I have like so many clean clothes to put away and then like so much laundry to do and I've just kind of been avoiding it because I've been lazy and also because I've had friends in town so I feel like I've been like hanging out with friends more than usual this past week um so yeah I just ordered myself some dinner I took a nice long shower with like candles and music which was super nice and I'm waiting for my food to come I feel like my phone's actually vibrating so maybe it's here soon oh my food is here please hold i'm so excited i ordered um buffalo cauliflower and some vegan mac and cheese from my one of my favorite vegan restaurants just buzzed you in okay hopefully they can find the entrance the entrance of my building is actually on the side street instead of the street the address is on and like delivery people can never figure that out it's so annoying um but yeah my lips are pretty swollen still and pretty bruised they are not going to look like this this was not the intended look i was going for um i'm not sure how much like real Alyssa recorded of me actually getting them injected but um I did want a pretty subtle look. I just really wanted to kind of like plump up my top lip a little bit and see how I liked it. Um, this person can't find the entrance. Please hold again. Okay, I think they figured it out, but I'm not sure because they stopped communicating with me. Anyway, I'm just gonna wait here and hope that my food shows up. Um, but my lips. Yeah, I actually told her that I just like wanted them to look super natural. I was really scared of them not looking natural and I just really wanted the top lip to be a little bit plumper um, and match my bottom lip a little bit more. So I feel like very anxious and eager to see how they're gonna look when they're not swollen because I think I just have super sensitive lips. Like when I got my lip blushing, they swelled up even bigger than this. It was insane. Um, so I just have really sensitive lips. I think that they like swell easily when they have any sort of trauma to them. So I'm just anxious. I hope that when I wake up in the morning, the swelling has gone down and I have like a better idea of what they're actually going to look like. But yeah, very swollen and bruised at the moment and slightly uncomfortable. They do hurt a little bit and I have another message. I am so excited about this. 
anyway so yeah that's the lips i'm very anxious to see how they're gonna look but i will keep you guys updated and show you tomorrow i feel like i already said this but i got um vegan mac and cheese and buffalo cauliflower from my favorite vegan restaurant um nearby and it's like my go-to order i freaking love both of these so much Also, I need to take my contacts out because they're hurting me again. I just, you guys, today I got an email. I feel like I manifested this. I got an email about LASIK eye surgery and I was just talking about this last night on the vlog. Um, it was like an email about like working together with the doctor's office. So that would be really cool because I feel like that would also like kick my butt into gear and make me go and like have the consultation and stuff. So. Fingers crossed on that because I do not want to have to wear contacts ever again. They kill. Um, but I'm going to go take my contacts out and then dive into this. Also, something I wanted to say. I feel like I said something similar when, um, when I got my lip blushing done, if you watched that vlog. But basically, prefacing like... I guess I'm not prefacing because it's already happened, but the lip fillers, going back to that, I don't think that I need them to be beautiful. Like I wasn't insecure about my lips. I was perfectly happy with my lips before, but I'm just someone who likes trying out beauty treatments and different things like that. And like, I'm not afraid of it. And I just wanted to try it. I just was curious. We'll see if I like it. Maybe I'll never want to do it again. Um, but I think that everyone should do whatever makes them feel happy and confident and not judge others. And I absolutely think that I was perfect before, but it was just something I was curious about and wanted to try. So I wanted to throw that out there. Okay, I'm going to save you from my eating and my eating sounds and my drinking sounds and I'm going to go now. I'll probably just talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning. I... I am heading out the door to Pilates. I just woke up and stretched a little bit. Got a few like emails sent. Um, and I'm like freezing. It's so cold and gloomy right now. Like. Just straight gloom. Um, but my lips are still very swollen and bruised look like a duck kind of um i just took more arnica and i'm thankful that i can wear a mask in pilates and no one will see them but yeah i'm heading off to pilates and then i kind of have a busy day i have like a few hours after pilates i have a meeting and then i just have like a few hours where i need to get as much work done as possible i have to shoot a reel and take a photo or two which is like gonna be very difficult in the amount of time i have um but i am going to try to get it all done and just like not stress about it so going to get pilates going to pilates and then gonna get coffee and get my day going oh my god so freaking good i wish i didn't have giant lips but at least my coffee is delicious. Our um, favorite barista at the coffee shop that we go to every day. It's his last week. He got a new job. He just told me he's going to work for Kanye. I have no idea what that actually means. I don't know how you go from barista to Kanye, but that is a glow up. Um, but the issue is that he's like, he makes the latte better than anyone else, so. Hopefully the people that he trained to replace him took notes because it's always like a really good latte, but there are some days when it's like really, really good. And Ooh. Okay, no more vlogging and driving. Okay, update. 
from my very sunny car. I just drove to Malibu. I am currently parked across the street from Nobu, which is where I'm having dinner with the girls. Um, I just spent the afternoon like getting some work done and just trying to finish all the things, which I did not successfully do, but um, we're having dinner, just a girls dinner at Nobu. Um, so I just came across the street because I didn't want to like pull into the valet and then like be trying to situate myself still. So I'm getting situated and then I'm going to pull in. I feel like there's nothing worse than when you pull into a valet and then you just like don't have your shit together yet, you know? So, um, I figured I would update you guys now instead of at Nobu because I know that if I try to talk to the camera at Nobu, I will get some stares, um, from people judging me. So, um, yeah, I am headed to dinner and I'm super excited. We are going to have dinner like at sunset. So it'll be so pretty because it's right on the water in Malibu. And I think we're going to try to get some like cute flash photos on the beach afterwards. I brought my film camera. Um, my lips still look crazy and I'm so sad about it because I feel like people in public are going to judge me and just think that I'm like, another girl who overdid it on the filler and you know what they're just still swollen and they're not gonna look like this so I'm gonna try to put some more lip gloss on to cover the bruises but I really wish they weren't so swollen I guess that's what I get for not planning properly I assumed that maybe they wouldn't I don't know I don't know what I thought anyway I will check in with you guys in a bit just wanted to give you a little update on where I'm at getting everything done before I leave um, we are currently up and I'm ready earlier than I am ever ready because I hate shooting in the morning normally but um, we have to go shoot a reel and I need good lighting and the middle of the day is the worst lighting which is why I normally only shoot like after 3 or 4 p.m. so we're currently on our way to Beverly Hills to shoot a reel and get some shit done today I feel like my lips look more normal today. They're still bruised, but I feel like the swelling is finally like down. Um, but still TBD on how they're gonna finally look because I feel like they're still healing and they still feel weird and kind of hurt. So that's the update I have for you guys. Okay, so we're out here filming a shoe reel for some Dolce Vita shoes for fall. So I'm gonna give you guys a little behind the scenes. We're trying to like recreate some inspo that I saw on Instagram. Okay, the first idea did not work. So we moved on to plan B, which seems to be working. Um, I changed into outfit number two. There are four outfits. Um, and I'm just doing like, I'm just doing a reel about like fall transitional outfits with my favorite Dolce Vita shoes. So, we are now moving on to filming plan B and hopefully the rest goes smoothly. Um, it's kind of hard to like film things. We're in Beverly Hills and it's just like a busy part of town. We're right on Rodeo. There's lots of people, there's lots of tourists. So gotta make sure that no one gets in the shot and ruins it, which is also kind of difficult because you don't want to be rude, but here we are. Um, okay, so the camera died in the middle of this filming the real what else is new so that's like all the vlog footage I got but um, we edited it submitted it so, like that was my biggest thing for the day and I'm extremely happy we got that done this morning and then I've just been like kind of like tying up loose ends like emails kind of starting to like think about packing and like get laundry done and just like things like that um, right now i am sitting outside of my pilates studio studio mdr and i typically only work out like first thing in the morning but since i wanted to be able to shoot that reel and make sure that we had optimal lighting i canceled my workout this morning so now i'm back here it's like 4 p.m and i'm gonna get a pilates class in my class is at 4 15 and then i have a couple errands to run i need to run to like ulta or somewhere and get a round brush because 
when we were traveling in Mexico a few months ago, I literally left I left an entire drawer full of hair tools like at the hotel, like my straightener, my curler, my hairbrush, like everything. And I asked like one of my friends who left a day after me to grab it, but the hotel staff like I don't know if they weren't able to find it. I don't know, but I chopped it up to a loss and I got the Dyson Airwrap recently. So like I have just been using that because it comes with like a round brush attachment, but I don't want to bring it to Europe because I saw someone's horror story about how they like thought they could bring their Dyson and then they like blew it out because the like converter or the, I don't know, you know how like the electricity and the plugs are different in Europe. So like, I don't want to risk blowing out my Dyson and like ruining it forever. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm just gonna bring, well actually I'm, I feel like the Airbnb will have a hair dryer. Like in my experience, like 99% of Airbnbs that I've stayed at have had hair dryers. And honestly, like if they don't have one, I would rather just buy a cheap hair dryer from like the store in Europe. So I'm just gonna bring a round brush. Um, but basically I need a new one. I haven't had one. That was a really long winded way of saying that I'm buying a new hairbrush at Ulta. And I also picked up a couple other things at Sephora yesterday. So um, I'll show you guys what I got and what I'm getting at Ulta like when I get home. Um, and I, I don't know, I was gonna try and run to Nordstrom, but now that I'm thinking about it, like. I really don't want to run to Nordstrom at five o'clock in like prime traffic. So I'll probably just save that for tomorrow. Tomorrow is really like the last day I have before the trip because my flight is literally at 6 a.m. on Wednesday. So like I literally have to get up at the airport in the middle of the night. So basically tomorrow I have like no work things planned at all. Like I'm just planning on dedicating the entire day to packing and getting organized and doing any last minute like things I need to do for the trip. Um, and like planning out content and outfits and all of that. So really today was like the last work day and thankfully I got all the things done that I needed to get done. Um, and then my friends Emma and Sophie and potentially um, one other person is coming over tonight for like some sunset drinks on the roof because they have not seen my new place since they live in Canada and they're just here visiting. So we're gonna have a little girls night tonight and like probably order dinner and have drinks on the roof during sunset if they get here in time. Um, and that's the plan for tonight. And then yeah, tomorrow we'll just literally be getting my shit together for real. And then I'm so excited that the trip is starting. So that's that. I guess I will take you guys along to Pilates and we'll chat about my Sephora and Ulta purchases later. I just literally talked to the camera for five minutes and I wasn't recording so this will be take two um, but that workout class was killer and the thing is it was like super hard but I felt really strong and I feel like sometimes I just have those days where I feel really strong during my workout and then other days I feel normal and then there's days where I literally can't get through it I feel so weak and I feel like I'm like not even finishing every single move but I was thinking I wonder if it has anything to do with the fact that like it's later in the day I've had like a full meal and like water and all this stuff and my body has like more fuel because typically I work out first thing in the morning and I literally haven't had anything I haven't had water I haven't had coffee I haven't had a meal um, but it could just be purely coincidence so I feel like I need to like test this theory out um, and see if that's the case and then maybe I need to start like eating something before my workouts um, but we will test that out after vacation for the time being I am I'm just gonna go run to Ulta and get a hairbrush and whatever else and then go home and shower and like clean up before the girls come over and get some drinks. Okay, my battery is literally just always dying. Anyway, I'm waiting for them to get here. I really hope that they don't miss sunset because it's like so pretty. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Prettiest sunset behind me.
espresso martinis coming right up. Michelle, like Hello. are we vlogging? Yes. Oh, we're vlogging. My camera is fucking always dying. Every time oh. I turn it on, it's dying. Then I change the battery, and it's okay. dying again. Well, Michelle's making us espresso martinis. <laughs> She's being a hostess extraordinaire. Where are these from? Hi guys. Oh, I, think, like, CB2 I don't know if you know who I am. I don't know if you know who we are. And then Sophie. <laughs> so cute, you guys. The last time we saw her, she was in her other apartment, and now look at okay. Wow. I'm so the phone eats. <laughs> Family dinner. We're um, so bon excited. Well, <laughs> Love it. Yeah, the phone eats first always. <laughs> or the gram eats first. Sorry, the the gram. I think the phone eats first. <laughs> it's kind of like two fuzz. Okay. So it is now Tuesday. Um and I've just been like, I worked out this morning and then just been doing a little bit of work. I'm filming a what I eat in a day for YouTube today. I feel like I mentioned that earlier in the week. So it's kind of been like balancing the weekly vlog and the what I eat in a day. Also, you know how I was telling you guys, like every time I turn on my camera, it keeps dying. And it was so strange. Like I thought I was going insane. Like I was like, am I not charging the battery? And I think like, I was like, am I going insane? And then this morning, right after Pilates, I turned on the camera to start vlogging and my camera immediately broke. Like the lens came out, but the screen didn't turn on and then the lens got stuck and then it wouldn't turn on or off. And so I think that there was something wrong with my camera and this was just like the final straw. At least I'm guessing that's why the battery is being weird. So I am currently vlogging on my phone because I was really dedicated to finishing this vlog and also like, it's just such bad timing because I literally leave for my trip tomorrow and I was planning on vlogging on the trip. So luckily one of my friends, Blake, who I'm going on this trip with, saved the day and she's going to let me use her camera because she wasn't planning on vlogging on the trip. So I will have a camera tomorrow, but in the meantime, I'm vlogging on my phone. So sorry if everything looks a little bit different. It's like, it's just, it's just a little bit awkward to vlog on the phone because you have to hold it and the lens is like over here. Anyway, here's a lip update for you guys. Um, the bruising has gone down a lot and you can barely see it anymore. Um, I think I just have like a clear gloss on right now, but there's still like a little bruise like here and here, but they're pretty faint. Um, I think the swelling is all the way down, but I'm not entirely sure. I definitely, they still feel like injured. Like they still hurt if I press them together pretty hard and they, they don't feel like normal lips yet. So I, I know they're not fully healed. It's only been like, what like six days so I read online that it's like a week to two weeks even longer like a month in some cases to for them to be like considered fully healed so we shall see I am liking them better than I did but like I still haven't formed a final opinion you know what I mean I think I need to let them heal before I decide um I don't know if I showed you guys my nails but I don't see this is phone issues this hand is black zebra and this hand is white zebra. Um, I'm currently sitting in the parking garage at the mall. I'm about to run into Nordstrom because A, I need shoes to wear with my wedding dress for the wedding because it's black tie, so it's very fancy. Um, and I don't have any shoes that match. And then B, I also need to grab something from Nordstrom because I'm working with them this month for Instagram content. And um, the outfit I originally grabbed just didn't work out. So I need to swap that out and grab something else to bring with me on this trip. So I'm just running some errands. I need to go pick up like a travel slot. Can't speak. A travel size toothpaste and some Q-tips. And then um, I'm going to go home and start packing. And I'll kind of show you guys a little bit of the packing process in case anyone is interested in that. Um, 
but yeah I'm just running around like a chicken with my head cut off I feel like everything is so jumbled and sorry if I'm just rambling and I'm gonna go now okay let the packing commence I am currently this is all like clean laundry on my bed so I'm currently just like sifting through this putting away anything that isn't coming with me on the trip and then I am going to try on everything that I do want to bring with me and make sure it all fits and then like style outfits around it because in the past I used to just like bring things with me and not try them on and then I would get on the trip and things would be too big or too small or whatever it is and it's like it took a valuable room in my suitcase so I'm going to try everything on but I'm also going to do my best sorry Hazel being cute over there I'm also going to do my best to actually style the outfits like pick out a purse and sunglasses and shoes and you know all that to go with them because I want to take photo pictures of everything and keep it in like an album on my phone and then just be able to reference like which outfit I want to wear on which day and what shoes I paired with them and make sure I have all the appropriate shoes and whatnot because another thing I am so guilty of doing is like picking out all my outfits but then not styling them not accessorizing them for a trip and then I get on the trip and I'm like well shit I wish I had different shoes or I wish I had a different this or anyway I'm gonna try my best to do that which is why I blocked off this entire day to just dedicate to preparing so let's get into it this is so large I had a feeling this was gonna be a no but I just wish they would have made this out of like a lighter fabric because I feel like this dress is really pretty but it's just like so much fabric it's like heavy and overwhelming. This one is going to be a return. My little packing assistant. She's so cute. Look at this baby face. You're the cutest girl in the world, Hazel Teen. Yes, you are. I'm going to miss you so much. Oh, she does not care. Bye, Mom. I'm going back to sleep. Okay. Um, now to show you what I got at Sephora and Ulta. So, I have been wanting to try this. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. So I got a mini size of it so that I can try it out first. Um, I've heard a lot of good things. It's kind of like a, you put it on like before foundation or you can do it alone. It's kind of like a primer. Then I also got from Charlotte Tilbury, the contour wand. I feel like these are always out of stock and I really wanted to try it. So when I saw it in stock, I had to grab that. I got the shade medium deep. I have their um, like blush and highlight wand and I really like it. So I feel like this is gonna be good. Then I got the Patrick Ta Brow Lamination Gel because um, a friend recommended it and said it's like the strongest brow lamination gel she's ever tried. And I love getting my brows laminated. I got them done a few weeks ago though, so I like wasn't due for a new appointment before I went on my trip, but I wanted to have that look still. So I'm gonna bring this with me. Hopefully it's actually super strong. Um, then I got a new um, Hoola bronzer in the mini version because I like to use this to contour my nose and I feel like the mini one just like the brush is the perfect size and I was running low so I restocked on that um, this is actually new YSL um, makeup with skincare in it and it's like their new line so this is a tint which is actually a pretty good coverage I've already tried this one um, and then this is a color corrector. So I got these two. And then also trying out the setting spray from the YSL new line because I've heard good things. And I got a little mini like singular matte brown eyeshadow because I use that for um, eyeliner. I use an eyeshadow as eyeliner and my other one broke. So I restocked that. And then I got the Way Matte Pomade for hair. Um, just so that if I wanted to do like a slicked back hairstyle, I've heard a lot of people recommend this one. And I feel like in, in Europe, it'll just be easy if I don't wanna do my hair one day and I still want it to look cute, I can just do like a slicked back bun. So I'm gonna bring this with me. 
and then 